Welcome back to Black Swan Outdoors, and today we're going to talk about the pack radio. So this is just a setup that I put together. Um, it's uh, essentially just the stuff that I put together from things that I found. Um, so I really didn't spend a lot of money, um, much money on this ses setup. And I just think it's a good example of um, if you have a need for something, you can build it. Um, you just have to use your creativity and the resources you have around you. So um, if you need to increase your radio communications, even if you have a really cheap radio, not a very expensive radio, the best things you can do is increase the antenna and increase the power. And a handheld transceiver is always going to be limited on power because of the, the compromise of uh, the size of that battery. So essentially, if you need to carry, if you need to make long distance contacts um, out in the field, um, you need to have a larger radio with larger antennas and, um, and, and most importantly, that larger battery. Uh, so a pack radio really does a, well, a good job with group communications uh, in trying to keep people uh, together. Okay, so let's jump into this pack. The way that I designed this, uh, the pack radio, was that it could fit into any style of pack, any kind of mid-style style day pack. Uh, this is just the Mystery Ranch pack, uh, but it, like I said, it could slide into pretty much anything because I made it pretty, uh, pretty standard. Okay, so we're opening it up here, and the first thing you're going to see is a couple antenna selections. All right, so the very first antenna here is just a J-Pole uh, uh, Slim Jim roll-up and some rope that you can use to throw up into a tree. Um, so you maybe you're hiking somewhere, you find a good location to um, set up the radio, you can set up this antenna um, and get, uh, get some contacts. I have gotten, uh, the farthest I've gotten with this antenna is about 25, almost 30 miles. Um, so in, in the right kind of terrain, you can do really well with just a regular uh, dual band uh, transceiver um, and that was 30 miles with this setup by the way um, that was this with this this J pole the next antenna here is a long wire antenna this is more for HF uh, communications and for those that are curious about this particular antenna you can check out our um, uh, HF uh, video on this or the, the breakdown video on this antenna but it's a lightweight uh, long wire antenna, which is great for uh, for HF communication. So if I didn't have a dual band radio, um, VHF, UHF, um, and I had maybe a, um, a multi-band radio or a dedicated HF radio um, or um, a, a CW radio that I could use for um, um, communicating uh, with, then I would take this. So... Um, and this would be the, the antenna of of, prefer, of my preference. Okay, um, so now that the antennas are out of the way, you can kind of we can kind of see the guts of this setup. The next thing we have along here uh, is a whip style antenna inside the tube, and I think you've pretty much uh, have seen this before in a few of the other videos. Um, so it basically just protects my whip style antenna. Um, and this is what I would carry with me. I carry with this in, in many different packs. Um, I have an, another tube here. And what this is for is an extension tube. So, um, which I'll show you in just a, just a second. Um, so we get to the radio here. I can pull it right out of the pack. And now we can kind of look at it on a tabletop. So there's a plast plastic board here. Uh, you could easily use wood. You could use any, you know, t cutting down any kind of piece of plastic that you had available. Um, of course, there's the radio itself. The radio is affixed by the super strong Velcro um, on the board. And then it's double uh, attached with this zip tie here as well. So it has two means of, of uh, attachment. I haven't seen it rattle around or fall or anything. Um, so it's worked out quite well. Uh, the battery here uh, is just a, a, um, a sealed 12 volt battery. Uh, it's quite heavy. 
Um, but it, it's going to work really well, and I use this out in the field quite a bit. I have uh, about three of these um, that I, I use. One in my Go Kit, uh, one that I keep in a car uh, that I rotate with, and then the Pack Radio Kit. Um, and then as far as the circuitry here, um, I just have the uh, DC plug uh, for the radio um, running right into uh, just a, a DC female socket uh, that um, I just soldered with some spade clips here to clip onto the radio. Uh, so, you know, didn't take much. I just salvaged this out of another piece of electronics. Um, and then the the radio, it's, or the battery itself, is secured with these snugger balls. They're just bungee balls. And then the, there's a angle iron braces here holding this to the board. Um, and then, uh, as far as the antenna goes, um, I just have the coax running uh, from the adapter um, around the bo bottom and then through this pipe here. And the reason why I have that is so that I can run an extension of my antenna. So if I wanted to keep my antenna out, um, keep the radio, monitoring radio, keep the antenna extended, I can do that with this. Um, and so I just take the extra cable here, put it through, connect it, And now I have um, an extension, uh, so I can zip this up. And then if I wanted to extend the antenna even more, um, I can certainly do that with this, uh, with the, the tube that protects, or the PVC pipe that protects my, uh, my other antenna. And this, as you can see, has a hole in it. Uh, so let me show you what that will look like. So I just pull out the whip antenna, pull off the cap, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run coax through here, and then stick this guy on to I use some washers just to get a nice tight fit on the whip antenna here. Couldn't find a better way to do this. Still exploring uh, that. And then now you can see I have a nice long stand whip antenna. Uh, that'll be able to get up um, a little bit higher. Now I could theoretically extend this out as far as I want with the different types of tubes that I have. But, and all of the, the um, PVC pipe is all standard. I bought it all, for, or I, all the antennas I have with a standard size. So that way if I can, I could dismantle like a Yagi antenna or any of my other antennas and make a mast out of the PVC pipe. Um, uh, antennas. So again, I could theoretically just make a super long mast with this uh, as well. And I haven't tried that out. Uh, this is as big, this is as big as I've as long as I've I've used. And also um, when I'm out when I've taken my radio out in the field, um, I generally am going to just deploy uh, one of these guys, the Slim Jim. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, just a pack radio. Uh, pretty simple, very very simple design. Uh, not super robust and rugged, um, so there's probably different ways in which I could make this more rugged, but uh, the nice thing about this whole thing is that it, it's uh, field serviceable. I can fix it if it breaks, and um, all the parts and everything is basically was scrounged together, so I didn't really spend a lot of money or, or time, frankly, in putting this whole thing together. Uh, so hopefully you're enjoying this series of uh, Gorilla Communications radios. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, put them down below. 
And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And more videos are coming. I forgot to mention earlier that uh, I can use other types of antennas with this system as well. Uh, so if I needed a directional antenna, I could use a Moxon antenna. This is just a breakdown Moxon. The Yagi I could use, or I could use a quarter wave blind ground plane like this. Uh, uh, this little guy here for UHF or a jungle antenna. All sorts of different types of antennas. And um, if you aren't following this series, uh, please consider doing so or going back and watching some of the previous videos because we talk about all different antenna designs and different antennas that you can use for this kit. The other thing that I wanted to mention is the reason why I did that, that DC connection is it's the easiest way to do it. But also it gives me the, an ability to quickly unzip the bag or place the bag onto uh, my car seat and plug the radio uh, directly into my vehicle so I can use it from a vehicle as well, uh, which is super handy, particularly for those that want an HF uh, radio and they're gonna be taking in and out of their vehicle. They don't want it permanently mounted. Um, you could secure a mobile radio of any kind really um, and be able to move it quickly in a bag onto the car seat um, or in the back of a car or wherever you have a plug, a DC plug. Um, and that will give you the ability to um, uh, to quickly communicate and change whether you're from uh, vehicle and then to to uh, on foot. Okay, so uh, with that, again, like and subscribe. Thanks.